everybody yeah. practice How, it. Even even looking at 2026, you heard Ibrahim Asila. The reality is, I'm telling you, Baro will be the one running because there are a lot of people around him. They think if he doesn't run, they don't have a chance in hell. The deck of cards would crumble. So they will be out there saying they're not, they're, not, they're not helping him. It's just like when Jawara said when Jawara said in December of 1991, people always call it 92. December but of 1991. At the same time, at the same time, mm -hmm. you also saw like one of the biggest opposition parties, the United Democratic Party. The moment you raise the idea of having an other leader, it's like, oh my God, you know what I mean? And and, and it, the, show, the whole same attitude, that's what you were saying, because they're thinking Dabo is their main man and he's the one person that, that could, in, in his absence, the deck of cards would crumble or somehow you all will hear this fragmentation. It's the truth, you know? I mean, so that is the problem. We make pronouncements that we don't really believe in. Do we really believe in term limits? Oh, don't we? That's the real, that's the honest to God truth. And unless that's it's on the million, million, that's the million that's, dollar that's, question. I do agree that's, with. that's the million dollar question. But you know what, Musa? It never helps anybody. Do you remember Jawara? The most popular Gambian. Yes. When he said in 91, Mansa Konko, yes. I am going to retire. I'm not going to run. Grown folks start crying on the stage. Started oh, crying. This is a guy who's been president for 30, almost 30 years then. This is, this is what they were telling him. And what did they do? Why do you think, why do we think they were so opposed to it? Guess what? First off, they had this belief that without Sada, they would not win. And, and then would be fragmented. There were fragmented. A lot of people and then what happened? Fragmented. In fact, the fragmentation of the party started by even that starts. You had a group that went and started lobbying for Saudi Arabia. Uh, See, Husabali was very in instrumental in that. Lobbying for Saudi Arabia to continue. There were only two people at that Congress Baby, that who believed that if Jawara wanted to Ooh, leave, and, he should leave. And, 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 and that was OJ and BB. BB was easily seen as this. He's, he's seeing this as an opportunity to be the de facto leader because he was the vice president at the time when the statement right. was made. Correct. And when they went around and had this, you know, Pai Bajulie, Pai Dehge, everybody comes and out the toggle, Sada, you take a UBC Kanam, so I mean, Remy Kuko, I mean, wow, you know, Len Yakar, you know, come. And they started crying and doing all these things. I remember Subtil Joe. There was a news, 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 uh, like a, a publication from the state house. She used right. to work there. Mm -hmm. He wrote crocodile tears. And that was in response to the tears that were being said for Sadauda to stay on. They fired her from that job. <laughs> Sadauda went on, had a press conference, and said, Well, Hamga Nitki, then again, now I'll give you a come on. You know how he used to speak and these things. So, of course, he's not going to be happy with you. He's not going to. Jawara, who wanted to go? And you could even see Jawara's frustration at that press conference. At the, not that press conference, at the, at the, at the Congress. What that again? In fact, he went to the external talking about, listen, I still remember the fights that you guys used to have after me here, when this whole thing started. I am tired now. If I were a civil servant, I would have retired a long time ago. Right. But they continued. He and went on. I'm telling you, history is repeating itself. We are in that same position. I'm telling you, Ibrahim wouldn't say it, but I can guarantee you that, like, remember when Baro was at the um, OJ's funeral. Mm -hmm. I came out of there saying, ah, this guy is not going to run. Everything that he said was pointing to that direction. It didn't take long that he had to come back and kind of walk back some of the utterances that he made. And I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure his lieutenants were like, hey, the Van Dankare. You know what I mean? Basically, talking, there are still people thinking that the guy is, the guy is not going to run, but I seriously doubt it. I think he's going to run. I, I, I hope, I hope, I hope he will not run. I think, I think I, there is one part of him that doesn't want him to run. But there, there are a lot of people around him. 
what we do. Do you see, I mean, it's possible, do you see a viable NPP with a totally somebody, a different candidate within, and still holding everything together? Well, Ibrahim Asila, maybe. He's, you know, he's... <laughs> I <laughs> they don't know. Have they have my boy. I'm cynical. But, um, sorry, <laughs> what do you think? What? Think about what? <laughs> Mando Maja has a guide. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, whatever I said, you think I'm not. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Mando Maja has a guide. No, 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 I'm not going to go no, for no, the No, no, we're bank. talking about this term, this term limit thingy. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, this term limit, and then Pasamba was rehearsing what happened to Jawara at Mansa Konko how he really wanted to um, step aside, but his lieutenants would not really allow him. And I'm like, you know, history is basically repeating itself. If you look at the NPP, you are seeing that. Baro going to OJ's funeral and most of the authorities that he made at that time, we all thought that this guy is definitely thinking about not running. And, and I said, it didn't take long, started walking it back. And now when you listen to any of his lieutenants, Ramasila was here just today. I mean, telling us that he's going to run. And you look at the United Democratic Party at the party level. I mean, there's a lot of talk that maybe Dabo will not run, but there are a lot of lieutenants out there saying, oh, no, he is our go-to guy. I mean, so history is basically repeating itself. And you right? always have that. Jaya TV. Hello? Sorry, huh? Or am I still trying to just say you? <laughs> no, I'm listening. I thought I'm going to say you are wrong. What do you want me to say? Gold. Sarian, what happened? What? <laughs> do you have I to like Musa. When you go to my seat, trying to just say you. So, so what's up? Well, what do you want me to say, brother man? I don't know what you want me to say. Do you have a take on Well, you that? listen. You're, the man came here. He made an argument. He said they got the most smartest, most articulated, most sharpest in the National Assembly. They got very young and they are very dynamic. Okay, you know, if someone wants to present an alternate view to the world, so be it. So that's what I'm saying. But you know what? The dynamics, what is on the ground, the people that are absorbed and the people that are outliers, it's a different scenario, right? So you have this dynamism in the both parties, and it's just going to fester. And I think what we need to let this thing go is the 2026 until it works out. You know, it, it, it fester itself. I I disagree with Ibrahim Silla. The optimism that he presents here, it's okay because he's a minister and he belongs to the government, right? But when you talk to the average people, especially this demolition that is going on right now. Well, you look at the story we were talking about this term limit thing. You're buying into another No, 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 no. no. I'm, I'm I'm no, no, no. It's not that. You, you know, here's the thing. You <laughs> ask me you ask me an open-ended question and you know. want me to stick to the script that you want. And I'm not going to do that. You're talking about on this issue alone. This no, issue no, no, no. But it's an open-ended <laughs> open question. And open -ended. I have the right to, say, to, to answer it. But we're talking about the lack of term limit within political parties. But I answered that. I just told you. I, I just you told say? you. You're telling me some. I, I mean, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm waiting still for the punchline so that I can. What punchline? I got no punchline. <laughs> I ain't got no punchline. What, what punchline do I need to lower? I just told you, the minister came in. He said, if that is the issue, if they have such a dynamic personality, a young and vibrant in their party, then time limits, time limits should not be an issue. The president should pass the baton and move on, right? <laughs> right? I, I'm just asking. I mean, just I'm, I'm just answering. I think you probably but, know. But, but, but sorry, what do you what do you say about uh, internal party democracies? Where now at yeah. least the parties too would also at least come up with these same ideas that they are you know espousing out there. You know, term limits and and you know because I believe ne, our our political party internal democracies uh, have a lot to be desired. Definitely, I think there there needs to be more and. Uh, you cannot you cannot 
argue against self-perpetuating rule at the top when you are perpetuating yourself too within your own this thing circle no no i i, I understand uh that is true i mean if you look at the parties the folks that have been in across the board right mm -hmm. i think it's okay you know to pass the baton if you are in for time limit you got to start it from your party itself so at some point somebody needs to rise up and take the mantle that's just that's just well, true i mean we can't just well, 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 you know, you're to... waiting for somebody to rise up why not just have it and and trench in your in your in your country to party constitution where if you're the leader for two times you step away well, this is you... across the board or none of yeah, no, 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 no. It's political not, parties all, all, all the political parties i'm talking about yeah yeah CA, and i agree CA, with that CA, i agree CA, with that See, to be fair to CA, they have it in their constitution. That was well, when, know, they were, uh, when they were well, party. Well, that's, when they... A, that's a bad example, coach. That's, <laughs> CA is just the bad omen of every political party in the Gambia. So CA so is a is, very bad this example. What, this is one comment that I want you to react to. What? From Sol Baji, Sariang. When a former VP, Honorable Senundabo, will run, there you have it. Why would you want me the to come in? Hold on, the incumbent is vulnerable big time. Ramadan is here. What say you? Yeah, as far as I, have no, I have no comment to what Saul wrote. <laughs> just, just, pa just pass him the uh, number to call in and, and give him the link to no, come. But to here, here, here is my thing. If the yeah. UDP as a party believes that Mr. Dabo is their best candidate to win, good for them. Of course. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get so, my no, there is, there is no There is no argument. Uh, to that, definitely. If because at the end of the, day, the party would choose whoever they want to run. So if they choose, if they believe that Mr. Oh, no. Davos oh, still no. is their best candidate, now oh, no. well, here is a here is a here is a. Oh, Musa, Mansa. Let me let me, oh, no, Mansa. Mansa. Let, me let me let me speak. No, I just want to react quickly to what Pasamba said. Oh, okay. For me, that is not even that's not even debatable. Parties will choose whoever they want. Right here in the United States, you see Democrats that are out there thinking that Biden is the wrong person to run. You know, no, he's in the run. That man is senile. <laughs> exactly. So people are going to have opinions <laughs> when it comes to who a party is chosen to run. I mean, of course it's their right. But also pundits can go out there and say, look, he is the wrong person. And if he's, I mean, if he's nominated, he's going to lose. I mean, for anybody to say that, oh, you're a business, you can't speak to it. No, no, no you you have you are no, as long as you're running for public office. It's everybody's business to to speak to your candidates in our country too anybody if they put up a candidate that i believe that they are going to lose i'm going to say it. really i would again i'm going to re-emphasize this so I I'm, I'm in, announcing in, my candidacy i'll be the presidential candidate for Doyle i i believe in internal democracy <laughs> and the people that are working on the ground at the time at the appropriate time when that decision is forthcoming, I think it will come out and it will, they will have a consensus candidate moving forward. That's my right, answer. Right. That's a yes. fair. Yeah, that's so fair. now now the, the other topic here. <laughs> well, fair. I just wanted to inform everybody. Yeah, Musa, Musa and Sariang, just to inform our viewers, thank you guys so very much for always being here. As of next week, uh, we'll be uh broadcasting simultaneously on facebook and youtube uh we've mm -hmm. set up the youtube channel and then as you watch us you can watch us live here on on youtube so that when facebook tries its dictatorial tendencies uh <laughs> at least we'll have an order this thing no no because you come one day and just tell you oh your page is on public because you've not met with our community thing and then I'm you talk about asking scratching at it. what kind of community thing are you talking about yeah you know it's, it's just it's just so annoying but we just want to expand it to at least give people more opportunities to watch this show from other platforms too. So as of next week, we'll be uh, broadcasting on YouTube as well. And we'll also look at uh, uh, maybe even uh, Twitter that has been overtaken now by an other tyrant, uh, that stupid man, what's his name? Oh. Elon Musk or whatever. Uh, and, and maybe even, uh, what's the, one, the new one? TikTok. To see. Yes. Ban in the United States, the, the and they will not be able to ban it. When you United States ban it, you know, they talk about democracy and we want to control what everybody does. Let them, please. <laughs> I'm telling you, and I heard that. I mean, it's 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 the president, even Barrow. I mean, not Barrow, Biden. Biden, Biden is supporting the ban. 
you but know what biden say, might even forget before they, 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 they think of he might forget about it the man the state of the union oh my like man. like he, like trump biden like is trump. Back. He's like your and he money them. i was so impressed money. i'm like money. Like, like 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 trump would tell you maybe maybe garabi did not wear off by the time he was done with <laughs> And you know, this but is the same guy out I, there. I didn't watch the speed, though. Did you watch the speed? No. Oh, man, it was a hell of a speed. And then you <laughs> Trump, the same guy that wouldn't even debate any of his candidates during the primary. Now he's out there at every turn. Oh, let's have a debate. I'm like, dude, <laughs> why was he and talking? You, know, you know, you can. You might want to, uh, Bob, Bob Toure is responding to you. You might want to bring him in for him to clarify. What did he say? Oh, you read his comments. He's he's out oh, there. Cool. I missed it. Can you click on it and then we? Oh, sorry, no, but he's right there on the screen. I so don't need for you to continue depending <laughs> on this. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They are out there, left and reinforcing the look. Okay. So you and just you know you are contradicting yourself. Ibrahim Silla just came in here. Said the same thing that Bob, Bob Toure is saying. They are entitled to say what and they I, and say. I and I and I have issues. Nay, it's not in line with this so-called term limits that we are talking about. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But, but, what, but, but what Bob is I'm saying, I'm saying. At least Bob Toure is coming out categorically stating that. Now, do you agree with Bob Toure? No, I don't have to agree with Bob Toure. I don't have nothing. I don't have to agree. I have, no, I do, I'm not gonna comment. We had we had this debate before, and if you want to relitigate that, right, 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 you're a member of a political party. I don't, I don't have a member. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I saw a lot of comments saying, oh, they're going to disown him. They're going to do this. I speak my mind without fear <laughs> or favor. Right? <laughs> so, so what I'm trying to say here. is, <laughs> what Bob Toure is, Bob Toure is very entitled to what he's saying. And he can speak. I, and I respect, look, and I respect that. Believe me. I'm so, not but, so, but what do you want? I have, invite seen, Bob, I have seen But Bob invite Bob Toure. Huh? So invite Bob Toure on the platform. Just send him a link. <laughs> Bob, 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 just gonna, Bob Toure is going to... No, why Bob? Money. <laughs> Bob, no, what? Listen. Listen. Here is the thing. What, 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 Bob, Toure, what Bob Toure said... No, no, no. no, 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 no what, I'm, done, what, I'm not taking a bait. I'm not doing no, that stuff. You man. know, unless... Unless the UDP names mm. another candidate, which has not happened, Mr. Dabo is still the candidate of the party. How about exactly. So, Adama, that's not what Bob Toure is saying. <laughs> listen, if Mr. Dabo... No, 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 no. no. Musa, 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 I think, I think sometimes you are very unfair to what these folks are saying. Here's the thing. In every politi if, you know, political party, the best thing is, yes, you can appeal to your militant, but also... At the end of the day, when a decision is made, majority polarity of your party member needs to support that right. decision. Let's go, let's go. How you manage that, it's very critical at some point Good. when that decision is made. We're going to get to Lima Lajek, very corporate. No, Lima Lajek, you can't get a skinny by party B to take care of their own ish internal democracy. You can't Dude. sit here and dictate Dude. what they need we to do. We come here every day. We question the NPP. We question the government. Their party dealings. That's what we do. <laughs> but you don't talk. You don't talk about what they need to. The candidate they need to choose and all that. So leave them to make that decision. I do. I, I do. do. I do. Yeah. When it comes to so, so Sariang is a new cousin. <laughs> <laughs> no, why money? On a on a on a on an other note, you know. Uh, this SGM, yeah, is a it's a hot button topic. And uh, today, I think it was today or one of these days, there was a meeting that they had. Uh, it was organized by civil society, and it had some imams, some activists on both sides, having a conversation. You know, debating uh, the hadith that say the hadith. Also, I don't read that. I don't know what the hadith say or whatever. Uh, that whatever the religious aspect of it, 
it was mm -hmm. debated between Imams Hufununu, Imam Babali, you know, Imam Fati. Oh, they were all together on the same platform? Well, that's yeah. healthy. That was very healthy. So, and I think uh, what I read, I read like something like a transcript of it. Uh, Imam Babali was saying that people believe that him and Imam Fati are enemies, that they are not. They just do not see eye to eye on some issues and that's going to continue. Correct. And I think uh, that is important. Uh, here is my thing. I am 100% opposed to female circumcision. I am. And uh, a lot of times people will argue those that support it would reduce it to the name itself that it is disrespectful to call it FGM because the mutilation. That's why if you want something to change, you must respect those people or respect the culture or respect this or respect that. I understand that. But I believe that is neither here nor there. If it is wrong, it is wrong. It doesn't matter what name it is called. <clears throat> and I've heard this also argued by sometimes in the Middle East. Or if you want them to, 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 to be democratic, you also have to factor in their culture and respect their culture. People are not talking about this bad, uh, take away your culture. People are talking about at least respect the rights of your citizens. Yeah. Now, when I worked at the African Center for Democracy and Human Rights Studies, there was a project, and I've mentioned this here, that we had on this, where we go to communities, work with people, and say, you know what, we understand this is a cultural thing, but these are the harmful uh, parts of it. Maybe it is important uh, that we do the celebration without necessarily the, the, the cutting part of it, you know, where people will still be initiated in this thought, all that, and everything. Now, the main uh, uh, proponents of female circumcision or FGM, whatever you call it now, is Imam Fati. And this one man, that man, Pastor Sambajo, I have no respect for. I've heard him say that to Nyom, they do not oppose any government unless you do something that is against the deen. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. This is a man who said, when Jammeh made a pronouncement that anybody who prayed other than the day that was decreed by the Supreme Islamic Council will be arrested. Imam was there. He didn't say a word. We all remember the Hyder Imams that were mm -hmm. arrested. Yeah. I've never heard the Imam Imam Fatih come out and say, you know what? This is against the deen. It is wrong. It must not happen. <clears throat> when Jammeh sat before them during quarantine and said that he was going to kill all day for prisoners and if he doesn't do it, he would drink alcohol and eat pork. Apart from Allahu Akbar, I did not hear Imam <laughs> Fatih or any one of them come and say, no, you cannot do this. It's wrong. In fact, they went on to defend Jammeh by using the Quran to justify the illegal, unconstitutional uh, killings of those people. The one imam who stood and said something against it was Babali and ended up in jail. Tortured. When the imam of Birkama was arrested, tortured, I never heard Imam Fati come and say this is against the deen. I am opposed to it. When Jami was giving them this sufferers and they were passing it amongst themselves, I didn't hear Imam Fati say I'm not going to touch it. This is against, against the religion. When Jami was giving them that money that he was uh, counting on the table, I never heard him question whether that was legally earned or that was waste or that was corruptly earned. And so to me, the messenger sometimes is just as important as the message. And Imam Babali to me is some, not Imam Babali, Imam Fati, Imam Abdullah Fati, is somebody that I cannot take seriously. 
as a defender of Islam. Because don't tell me that everything that happened in that country. And you're telling me, oh, sometimes I would stand at the at the state house member and say things to the president. Oh, I, I questioned, I told him about his wife and the way the wife was dressing. There were more serious issues in our country than how the wife was being dressed or dressing. But Imam Fati is not on record anywhere standing for any Gambian that was oppressed by Yahya Jami, including Imams. So if this guy should turn around now and act like he is the defender of Islam, I believe that is laughable because he had enough opportunities to defend it when it was most appropriate and look the other way because it was convenient for him to look the other way. So Musa, this is where I have my issues with Imam Fati. Everybody else I can sit and listen to. But when it comes to Imam Fati, no, to me he had lost, lost that respect a long time ago when Gambians needed the defenders of Islam to stand up against the injustices that were being perpetuated against Islamic, uh, Islamic people, including Imams. What has he ever done to stand for people other than defend one of the most callous leaders that that country has ever had? In Yahya Jame. And Imam Fati cannot sit here and tell us that he did not know what Jame was doing to people. He was inviting them to his foot and puff or whatever that they were. They were going there willingly. Everything he was doing, he had them around him, following him around. So I hope that we will listen to people who are a lot more genuine in their arguments and not rabble rousers who are engaging in fiddle faddles all over the place. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was a, that was a very passionate argument. And I'm sure most reasonable people wouldn't wouldn't would have a problem with what you said because this is history. We all witnessed 22 years of dictatorship. I was kind of I'm tempted <clears throat> to play the devil advocacy, maybe ask you questions before I tell you what my position is. I mean, we were living under a dictatorship, and Imam Fatih basically witnessed what was happening to other Imams. I mean, there are a lot of people <clears throat> in the Gambia at that time, whether public servants or people in other areas, that basically the fact that we were living under a dictatorship, they were acting a little bit differently, or they were silenced or quiet. But now that we have a democracy where people can freely express what they believe in. Is it not fair for somebody saying, well, <clears throat> because we have a new dispensation, Imam Fatih could be in a position to basically speak his mind in regards to the spirituality or some of the things that he believes in. When we were under Jame, it was under a dictatorship. And like I said, quite a lot of people, I could say even 95% of Gambians were very quiet on issues that they, don't, they didn't even believe in. Imam Fatih was one of them. And now that we have a new dispensation, that's why you have him basically echoing. Um, is that, would that be a fair remark, comment to make? As far that, as Imam Fatih, the double talk, that he was quiet during dictatorship, but now that but, we have a new dispensation, Musa, does that undermine, does that undermine his message to tell you exactly what he believes in? The fact that during the time of Jamie he was quiet, now that he's telling you what he believes in in regards to FGM, does it undermine that? Musa, if you are, if you are, Hamga, if you say, I'm, I'm basing this thing on what he said. Right. That they do not have any issues with any religion unless they do something that is against the deen. You see, when you are a leader, there are responsibilities that come with it. Especially when you call yourself a defender of a religion. Because dying for a religion, I believe, is one of those things that people are always ready to do for the religion that they believe in. So to say that because it was a dictatorship, but under that dictatorship, you and your colleagues 
when and conferred on one of the most on Islamic people in the history of the world in Yahya Jame, the title of Nasiruddin, the defender of the deen. I think speaks a lot. Pasaba, again, I want to, I still want to pursue this devil advocacy. <clears throat> You gotta, you gotta understand too that religion and individuals, they are also very political. I mean, we witnessed that here in the United States. Evangelicals, whether it was going back to 2016 or even today, <clears throat> they knew that Donald Trump was is one of the most imperfect person as far as religion or his spirituality was tested. But what they saw was, here we have a guy, politically speaking, that we can utilize him to also further our agenda, even though he was an imperfect person. So one could argue that the Imam Fatih and his clique, what they saw was Yaya Jame, a very imperfect person, and maybe even evil, but they thought that here a vehicle that they can use to further their religious agenda. Remember, it was during Jame that the Supreme Islamic Council became very powerful and influential. Right? Or wrong? They became very... Uh -huh. The reason why we start talking about the Supreme Islamic Council, I mean, I think they were there during the time of Jawara to some extent, but how influential were they? Now, so they have a new dispensation on the Jame, somebody who was very imperfect, and I'm sure they had a problem with the, 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 the banning of this FGM, but just like any other political outlet, they were looking at the pros and the minuses. And they make a calculation that this is somebody on some issues, we're just going to let it go. Remember, it was the same Jame who came back and said, I'm going to change this country and make it an Islamic state. And that is pretty much in line with their beliefs. So they have to choose their battles very carefully. You know what I mean? To, and, for and the you greater... Know, mm -hmm. You know, you know, no, you know what is... No, I, I understand just, where you're coming. Let me let me answer your first question. And you know what I call those evangelicals that are following Trump? Right. Religious prostitutes and hypocrites. Okay? Hangam and Mayo, the difference, boy. But I am not... I'm not, I'm not one of those who is afraid of saying uh, whether it is the Safara or the Arjana business and all that stuff. I just speak what I have to speak. And maybe you, you, I know where you're coming from, playing, playing the devil's advocate. The way recording is coming, so you need to do your way recording. No, 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 no. Tell you the truth. I'm very much in line with some of the things that you said about Imam no, no. Fatih. Okay. I have a no, he, 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 there, there are different Imams. We heard from Imam Brahmi. Because if you look at their argument is, yes, it's not in the Quran. Imam Fatih will agree to that. But they will tell you that it's the Sunnah. What does that mean? When they talk about the Sunnah, is some of the things, and Imam Fatih's argument was, look, even the way we pray, you will not find it in the Quran. The way we pray, you wouldn't find it in the Quran. Now, so they're saying that with this religion, I mean, and I'm telling you, I'm the wrong person. I don't know. I don't know anything. No, you're not Dara. So by the way, you need to have the name Dara. Pull your wahji. I'm not expert. I'm not an expert. So I want people that are watching to understand that I am really ignorant when it comes to this religion. But my understanding of the Sunnah is some of the pronouncements or utterances that the that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made or actions that he took, they're saying that that is why that is the Sunnah. I guess maybe Sarian can help me. I mean that is yeah, why that, I know I know I know Sarian is religious and he and he is, and he plays, Again, and he plays regularly. <laughs> so but that has nothing to do that has nothing to do with MG. <laughs> you you you, you, you see here's the here's the here's the thing. Musa, here's the thing though. There is something there is something that 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 Malik said. With this Sunna argument, Imam Drame said, which to me is very logical that. Yuntiala Muhammad's daughters were not circumcised, and he didn't say anything about that. Their sons were circumcised. And so, if you're going to rely on Sunnah, if you're relying on Sunnah, you have to go with either the actions of the Prophet or some of the pronouncements that the Prophet said. And the Prophet did say that boys need to be circumcised. As far as women were concerned or girls were concerned, he was quiet. But maybe people like, um, 
Um, so but, yeah. but you see, there, there's something. Uh, no, don't box me into this. Yes. Yes. I'm not I'm you. Hey, hey, no, hey, no, 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 no. Here is a, here is a, here's my take on this whole issue, Musa. Mm. I think we all, as I said, on both sides of the aisle, we have to be pragmatic and be careful of uh, how we approach this. I, during this debate, I spoke to a good chef. He lives in the Tri-Cities over here. Mm -hmm. and how you frame it. And I think, again, you are correct in saying in explicit terms, there is no texture or at least that mm -hmm. the prophet pointed and say, hey, you should do this, right? But at the same time, I think a lot of people take this personnel and, and go after Imam Fatih. I, I can tell you, there is a there, there is a video out there during Jammer's time at his summer in State House where he talks about FGM. And the heat of that, it's, it's a video out there. I, I don't have it right now. But but he, he talks about these things. That what was he, what, mean. What did he, what did he say? Oh, he said it's a, it, it, the same position that he's talking about today in front of Jemmy in the state house at the mosque. He said it. it there is it. I, I, there is one out there. But that, that doesn't justify what I'm trying to say. I think we all need to kind of tap down the conversation. Because here is one thing I ask a city member of parliament. I said, and I use Colin Powell's reference, he says, if it didn't break, don't fix it, right? So even though the FGM, anti-FGM law is in the books, I, 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 don't, I don't specifically see someone who's been practicing, who's been prosecuted. They, I, I, through Imam's conversation with Fat Ture, he said some people were prosecuted. I haven't seen, and still now people practice this who felt that they need to do it, even though there is anti. So where, why reinvent the world and create all these commotions about it, right? So, so, so that's what I'm trying to. But I think I seen interviews, even the banter bar. It was very heated, and it becomes somehow personal, personal. So, so, but, but, but if I believe I Sariang, even though. My some of my family does, but today, based on what I knew, based on research, based on talking to the scholars, I don't believe in it. That is my position. That is my position. And I think Imam, for the sake of when he sat on Parfatu's platform, he did not say he says it was more of the rights. So if someone wants to do it, you let them do it. If someone doesn't feel like they need to, they don't need to do it. I, I think that's why the conversation needs to talk. But I think the whole thing is sensitization. I think the dialogue needs to take place. And I also think that the, the, the NAM that wants to reinvent, I think there should be some type of engagement. I know the civil society, but you got to talk to the people. You got to engage people. It's, it's a very, very old tradition. And there is things that scientifically, they prove that it's, it's bad medically. And you cannot disown that too as well. So, so I, I think that fine line needs to be touted. But don't feel that somehow you're going to talk down to people who did it before. And, and I've seen this. They are primitive. They are ignorant. And that's not true. Not that I'm fighting. But, but don't try to go ahead and, and, and demonize people who did it in the past. And I see the conversation coming to that angle. And I think if you do that, you are agitating the other uh, side to rise up and respond too. So people did this. They had daughters and sons, and, and, and they didn't have any issues. Complications are bad. That is true, Musa, at the same point. But at the same time, we strike a fine tone, not divisive language. And then you can point, you can have, you can point your fingers to Imam, but there's a lot of people who are very deceived, even on Facebook, every single day going at it. Going after people, so labeling them as ignorant, primitive. They don't know what they are doing. Well, those two, I know people who went through this who had sons and daughters who are medical doctors. So, so the passion is on both sides. How do we strike it? How do we bring it to the middle ground and talk? Whereby, you know, it's going to bring, because this is undue attention. i seen this, like I saw the United Nations uh, Secretary General saying this. I think it's foolish. 
to just go in and say, I'm going to undo a law that has been in place and it has, it has worked for the majority of the people. Why do you have to undo it? Just to create attention? And then I think when he sat on the platform, I wish you bringing him in there. But I think the fundamental no, question... No, actually, we reached out to him. I sent him and he responded. I mean, you saw the communication. We wanted no, no, to I, I, I saw it. But, but here's the thing, yeah. though. What I, what I wanted to ask him, the law is out there. He didn't even, but, but, but what is the commotion, though? I mean, it, where he represents, those people do it every now and then. I'm telling you right now. They deal. Yeah, but so, it, his argument is that it's criminalized. Whatever they are doing is against the law, and they can be prosecuted. So he's saying, I mean, you know what, how many the, people the, are prosecuted based on their no, practice but, of but this? Marian, you cannot just say that he should just leave it alone. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm, I, think, I think, hold on a second. You you have a position. I have a position on this one. Right? I know, but what I'm trying to ask you is, what I'm, what I'm asking is, he said the criminalization of the law. Correct. But based on data, how many people did they take to court or charge or send to prison? But, but it doesn't this? matter. There was a lady, what brought up all this commotion was, there was yeah. a lady that was actually taken to court and found guilty. So oh, as far as in the law books is concerned, whatever the people of, like you cited, Fonya are doing it every day, they're breaking the law. And he's saying that that needs to change. I mean, I, 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 now again, whether one agrees or disagree, but that is their position, that they want to take, take out of the, dis, the criminalization of the act. And if people want to do it, because before the act, you got to remember, before Jamein, was it 2015? Right, right. Before 2015, we had FGA. I mean, we have people that were against the action, the Dr. Tudors of this world out there using education, sensitization all over the Gambia. And then you had people that and, were. And you know what, Musa? And you know what? The interesting thing is those Nigga Hamne lead led the campaign against it were people who went through it. Exactly. So the, that the, helps the, you. Jaha, you the Jahad Dukures, the, the Jahad Dukures, the, the, yes. the, 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 the doctor, and all these people will tell you that they, they went through the process or their families went through it. They were the ones who. who who, who who went through the press? All I'm saying, Moini, you see, to me, yes, Imam Dawahonda Katimbimbar at this thing. He, to me, he is one person that I cannot trust because I don't believe he believes anything that he's saying. Because if you if you're defending the deen, you will not sit and have your fellow imams thrown in jail, and you continue to collect money from the the, the, the jailer himself. Well, so, I don't know, this, this this culture. I think, I think I think my this position is Musa. Huh? I think I think I think the conversation should evolve beyond the personality who said is who did that. I think it is a great as you said the criminal. You see what you said right here that someone the one that triggers this was someone was being prosecuted. I don't know that. I thought I thought I mean yeah, yeah, somebody 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 was prosecuted and this was when Imam mobilized uh -huh. the people. Yes, yes. And, and, and 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 among that no no well, here is the thing. Let's play statistics. So among 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 the whole lot that practice this, I and mean, they are practicing. I think only five people, only five people today have okay. been have been prosecuted. So so, so, so you see where I'm where I'm going. Where I'm I'm not saying those people and, don't. And have you know, and what the, and you know what the prosecution is? They don't even none of them had gone to jail. There is okay. always a fine that they pay. So 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 here's a conversation that I, I I hear this. If you don't believe in it and you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. And I think sometimes the tone and the rhetoric, how you present yourself, how you say it, you don't go out there, whether you are an imam at the member or you are at the church, at the synagogue or whatever, trying to threaten people and think. I think that is totally uncalled for. We are all one people. We've done this. People have done this. That didn't, that didn't destroy their coexistence as family or neighbors. Right, so so I think that we thing needs to continue. Korea, that we, need to be, we need to be careful with this data thing, because like everything in the Gambia, when it comes to collection of data, we have no idea how I'm this not, thing is not, acting. Hold, 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 I am not saying that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let yeah. me finish what okay, I'm saying. Go ahead. Because I'm going to tell me, tell me, causation. We all talked about here women dying during delivery. Right, and then you and then yeah. you argue data. Huh? Then, you, then argue, you, like you should go no. back. Yeah, like, are we okay. keeping, like, because I'm not, let's say the argument is women have been doing it for centuries and that are just to live. 
That's no, the no, people have been dying from it. You know, but 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 that's the argument. So I'm just saying, Nate, in the absence of data, you cannot make that argument. You know, I mean, I mean that's all. That's, no, that's, no, that's mother, all mother, mother, uh, <laughs> I would really want to like somebody like there is this lady, Sini. Sini, she, she, she is very passionate about this issue. She went through it and went through a lot of hardships. Yeah. I would it. believe those people before you I know. believe somebody else. You know. like because man. I have I've no. listened to, I've got to me, whenever I listen to people and they talk about their horrific, you know, uh, experiences yeah. against it, I think that should be even cause for concern for everybody to say, you know, let's wait a minute and see how we can, you know, tackle this issue. But I don't think we can dismiss the people. Let's say we just talk about culture and respect, but why do we, in, in that, all that, we want to just put aside those who've gone through it oh, and went through, have horrible horrible conditions the our experiences about it so like there should be a balancing act i uh absolutely soon i i understand what you're saying the you know uh personal thing imam Fatih and i we have something personal i don't know him he doesn't know me but it's just it's just coming from nakala to a place for how many it's not you know because i think we went through hell and back when we needed people to be courageous and speak truth to power, and they were selective and became cheerleaders. I mean, you know, you know religious leaders, for me, they're always going to, they're part of the community. Yeah. And they are always going to be out there fighting for issues that they believe in. But at the same time, too, people are also going to be out there countering their beliefs or their, because how it undermines. And again, going, going, when I listen to people that went through it, I think they are, those people are credible. They went through it. And even the ones that are quiet, they will tell you, the people that are oh, saying, yes. some of the things that you said, Sarian, nah, you know, people should treat them with respect. They should not, they watch their language. But they would also tell you that they will never allow their daughter to go through it. Well, that's fine. So in other words, huh? No, that, 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 that has nothing to do with the demagogue. The demagogue, Musa, you cannot underestimate. Are, and I, hold on a second. Oh, no, no, you, you, you say, you say that when you say, oh, I am people. not a proponent. Let me put this to for the record. I'm not a proponent of FGM. I want to make sure that it's clear on this platform. But as well as the people who did it, I've seen both sides where this issue has been demagogue. It's toxic. They've been attacking people. They've been dim dismissive of people, and that is totally do you, uncalled. Do you think? Do you think FGM should be banned? I, why? Why? I just told you the platform. Why do you ask me that question? I told you I'm not a proponent. <laughs> I just told you I'm not a proponent. No, you know, you know, this is the conversation. But, 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 but listen. No, 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 no. Here no, is the thing. I know. Okay, Sarian, Sarian, Sarian. You are coming from with this. No, Sarian. I'm telling you. I am Daria. not a proponent, and I'm just telling you that the law should not be undue. I am Daria. very clear okay. on that. Thank you. Then you answer the question. No, so sorry. But, but, but why are you asking me the question? Sorry, because sorry. You know, sorry. Sorry. sometimes I listen sorry. to you. No, you hold on. Why was I hold on? Sorry. No, 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 no. But I just told you on the on the on the segment. Okay, I, I said it. if I, I if, hold on. I, I said it. if the law, if the law, if it's not breaking. Don't, Don't freaking yes, fix it. You did say that. I said that. Oh, right? Sorry, Sorry, I was the one Sorry, arguing on the other side. For you. I was the one arguing on the other side. Don't bust me, me, man. No. Don't, don't bust me yeah. this is freaking issue, okay? I have no stake in this whatsoever, all right? No, no money. Sorry, I just want to make sure we are all on the same page. Right? No, no, no. Musa, I've never seen, I've never seen Syria this hat. I is it the Ramadan tomorrow that you're thinking no, about? It's oh, not, no, it's not. Because no, 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 you know, you no. know, Musa has a way of framing questions. I'm trying to box you in when I don't have a stake into this. I don't. And it's just, I mean, I'm just being truthful no, about it. I was the because one I was said, no, I said, you know, what, huh? you know, you know um, Sarian, that's your, that's your initiation. This is what he used to do to Banka. Yes. Banka, Banka, Banka would get, you don't see. Box me into some freaking I FBM crap. I mean, I'm not going to have some issue with about that. Imam Fati. I'm the one trying to at least logically explain why Imam Fati whether it was during the time of Jammeh. No, and, and you, you know, know, you know, you know, you know what happened? 
I, 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 I just got I got just got what notification on my on my saying, watch. Huh? I just got notification on my watch that the sound levels hit 90 decibels. And that is from Sarayang's yelling and screaming. So that was how long. I'm serious. It's oh, right here telling Maria, me. Do you no. believe do you believe that the FGM should be back? I don't freaking care. I'm telling you right now. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but again, you know, you see what's there? The, the good thing about it, though. Or oh, do you believe in your Bob Ture that we see Nudabo should be the plant bearer of you? I do not care. I'm telling you. <laughs> because, you know, they say when you know your man, you know your man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a reason I'm not asking that to pass over because I know what his position is. Well, so, so but, but you I, second just everyone's position. You you no. are, about a month ago, court was <laughs> waffling all over the place. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so it depends on the topic that we are discussing. But for the FDM though, on a serious note, Musa, I think everyone needs to dial back a little bit, and I hope Mr. Giba will find time because I think he came to the Bantaba. But they didn't have a good conversation. He could have shared his perspective, but it becomes more personal and push back and yelling competition between themselves. I, I think the man should come and talk because one thing that thinking about what you just said, he also pointed out to the criminalization of the law. Oh, yeah, that was that was his whole the whole bill. Yeah. Is yeah. about yeah. that. The whole yeah. bill, as far as he's concerned, yeah, is that look. Let's remove that particular aspect, the criminalization of it. And so that if anybody believes that culturally you should do it, you should be able to do it. Now, <laughs> to me, that defeats the whole purpose. All right? That defeats the whole purpose. The moment you decriminalize it and say that it's okay, now I don't know. What are you saying based on protocols and conventions that we sign all over the world? Gambia is committed saying that something like this should be banned. The moment we do that, we're basically violating some of these. Now, but there was something else that he said, Pasama, that I want to bring it to you. Because I always ask myself when they make the argument that the West, they're the one imposing these things to us. And I ask myself, how, how would allowing us to do FGM, how, how, Banning it, how would that help the West? In other words, uh, that, no, I don't, I don't know because there is another angle to it that he, the argument that he made, and I'm like, hmm, maybe this guy is up to something because he's talking about this transgender. And his argument was like, look, look at the West, they are out there. We all know about the transgender, people are out there doing operations that are very, I mean, health wise, very serious. I mean, you're born with a, you are a man, and all of a sudden you go through operations and pick it out and put something else there. So that could be mutilation. So his argument is like the West, they're doing that. And in other words, they are actually saying these are rights that need to be protected. But <clears> when, it comes to, when it comes to us, for instance, because when he raised it, to be very honest with you, again, let me say, I am totally against FGM. I would want it to be banned and criminalized. But I will always listen to argument that people are making. And if it gets my attention, I'm going to echo it. How do you see transgenders be seen as rights that they can mutilate their bodies in what has happened in so-called <laughs> genital mutilation or circumcision <laughs> in Africa? How do you see that, Pasamba? Can you... Musa. Mm -hmm. Musa. Isn't the argument sometimes do not even make sense? Okay. Because you are mixing apples and oranges. I'm going to learn more the issue. Boy, to tell somebody that you are corrupt and they turn around and say, I'm not the only one. You live in the United States here. Mm -hmm. What is the attitude of most Americans towards gay people? Is it a very it popular has, thing? It has evolved, though. It has evolved, but what is the what is evolution? Can I go into this country? No, no. I mean, I'm going to answer your question honestly. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to answer it honestly. I mean, gay people most likely they were all what do they call it? 
they were even scared to come out and say I'm gay. Right, 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 right. Right? I mean, that was the reality. At work, you don't want anybody to know that you are gay. But nowadays, I can guarantee you, when the president of the United States, you remember Obama? It was Biden that came out and supported, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean uh, marriage, marriage, same equality, sex marriage. same sex marriage. And Obama kind of evolved out of it. So I do see, I have seen where their position was 20 years ago. Let me, let me, where let me, the United let me, States is now. Me, if you go out there. Let me ask you a question. Let me, mm -hmm. let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Musa. You're frozen again. I hope you're back. Really? <laughs> it's the Atlanta internet. Okay. At what age? At what age are people who are transgender? Do they go to have those operations? Do they do it when they are minors, or do they do it when they have yes. the consent to be able to do it on their own? That's a good question. I don't, Does I don't that also something? Is that something that should be negated? Uh, no, no, that seems to, to be factored in. You're making sense. I'm that agreeing. That, this are uh, look from like any young from like any. Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose to do with your body, mm -hmm. huh, you have That's the mind, you have the vision to do what you choose to do. To subject a minor mm -hmm. to such a process. Like if, mm -hmm. if an adult woman today decides I'm going to be circumcised, I don't think you'll be have a, having any conversation today on the radio, on TV, or anybody. No, but, uh, as anybody far as the law, but as far as the law is concerned, though, and the way the law is written, even an adult woman, let's say at the age of 20, wanted to go and do, I mean, I mean, I mean, circumcision, who, whoever is doing it, it's 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 basically uh violating the law. Yes or no? No, 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 no. The argument here is not necessarily the law. The argument mm -hmm. here is about FGM versus the practices in the West. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. forget the law. What the argument that the Holocaust denier, James Guy, is right. uh, suggesting is that if they allow homosexuality and transgender issues, they should not ha have an issue with female genital mutilation. Yeah, if they're allowing that to happen in there, again, there is that's, argument. That's, 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 that's their argument. Their yeah, argument and is my their argument worse than FGM, and they, they are protecting those in the name of rights. But when it comes to and us, you know what? When, right when they are adults, what, what right I'm saying, and then, and then I'm countering it with them. If an adult woman, Mr. Jiba, if he chooses or Mune Konjigen chooses to them undergo the process now, I don't think there'll be anybody in the West who would say a word okay. about what he had yes. undergone mm -hmm. because anyway. he's an adult. The real issue that people have are most of the people that are subjected to it are people who are kids and cannot do it. Even the evolution of FG, like a homosexuality here in the US. It has evolved. This more. transgender, this transgen transgender bathrooms, you know what? Do you know the amount of issues that it is bringing to this country? Because of the religious right, especially. Mm -hmm. One when I have nothing to do with nothing it. Nothing to do with it. Absolutely. If they have it their so way, it's not like so so it's sometimes it's sometimes misleading to suggest that because West be Nyungin Nanguli like this thing. Because of the West and Fum Neka, there is a lot of contradiction and fighting based on these religious people. You have the belief that it should be one way and they believe that no, it should not be, it should be another way. There is a big ideological divide on that. The liberals they support it. As well, though. We're witnessing huh? it in the country as well, though, as far as this issue is concerned. These are no, ideological, but, there are people. No, I'm but, not but, just but, saying. I'm just that's, saying. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Not, not everybody. Do you think, let me tell you, let me ask you a question. Do you think Donald Trump has a problem with who is circumcised anywhere as president? That's not his problem. You will <laughs> never hear Donald Trump talk about those things. That's not his problem. Yeah. So but but I think I mean, what Musa Musa got a point on, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Musa Musa was arguing not for the legal uh, like the age requirement or the consent, but the practice itself, Musa, right? No, and, no, and the no, ideological no, divide. No, no. To me, let right. me say, let me tell you, man, I believe that if an adult chooses to do something that does not harm an other adult, if you choose to be a serial tomorrow, you come to the say and say, I want to be called Mariama. I will respect that and call him Mariama. 
No, no, no. But 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 but, 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 but the point that Jiba was making, Moine, again, you remember man, what I first said, Moine, I don't see how the West being obsessed of banning FGM is really going to help them. I, I, no, but, I but, keep but, seeing but, value. But, 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 but no, but, 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 but what did, what, what, what did the West say though? Huh? What did the West say about this issue? Oh, I saw the, uh, I saw the, uh, what's called the Secretary General of UN. The, the United, the United, where is this guy from anyway? The Secretary General. No, from... I mean, we all know the West, Pasamba. I mean, when it comes to FGM, they are definitely. But no, 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 no. I think, I think, I think. Is that are subjected to it is, is, the, is the bigger issue than anything else. I think, I think Musa, Musa is hitting something here which is very sensitive. And I'm not, that you know, the fact that the argument, coach, if you are saying, if you are saying, I, I'm just saying, if you are saying you agree with someone who goes through transgender process, if he wants that's to transform right. from man to woman, that's his right. Right, adult. Yeah, that, that's a right. Is a right. Yes. Would you make the same argument of a FGM if that person has the required age? And go through the process. Oh no, I will not have an issue with it. Do you discuss, sir? But if an adult, but the reality woman. Let me, let me, let me. Not let me, you me. personally, but the way the law is written, don't you think? Then Jiba has a Musa, point. Musa, the objective of this whole argument has nothing to do with the way the law is written. That is just something that they are hanging on to so that they can win the support of the others. That's what it is. It's just like no, you no, know what. This is hard, man. This is hard. But man, man, I am look. <laughs> like I said, I'm just trying to. Hear them out. You know, so you're like, trying to be the you're trying to be the devil's advocate. No, yes. like I want to hear them. Like I said, the difference between your Akman, our tolerance level more Uche. That is why I'm independent. That is why you are steroids. <laughs> but no, but this one though, Musa, you are making you are making oh, complaints. I am yeah. listening to the other side. The, in as much as I disagree with, because Musa. I saw that lady at the um at that lady making the. Um, Alpha Robinson's wife. I I try to I tr I sent Alpha a message because I wanted to Someone invite that her. So, kind of won an award. Fatu, for Fatu Balde. Woman, yes, Balde. Right, and talking about someone who went through it and one of the advocates fighting Balde. against. So, some boy be squared na tayi musa. Kala. Minte, but go ahead. Allahi lezi. So my my like I said when I listened to him on coffee time, my position was like, look, FDM is horrible. And I still believe it's horrible. I still believe it should be banned and it should be criminalized. But I also, when he raised the West, protecting rights of transgender people, and somehow they don't, they totally ignore the rights of individuals that are practicing it. Could their rights be violated? Now, transgender here in the US, if you have parental, I think there are young at the age of 14 that are going through this. And the argument is, as long as you have parental consent, you can go ahead and do it. In the Gambia too, the ones that are doing it, it's not the young, it's not the, the minor, it's the parent that really want it to be done based on their beliefs. But do they you have know what, Musa, Musa, maybe you have evolved to their side and just support it. <laughs> I just wanna, no, 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 just, just go ahead. If we are going to, no. we are going to put everything on the board, no, just no, 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 Huh? But you have to be fair to Musa today. No, 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 no. Listen. no, no, no. But, but, but the right is the right of Lu Lumala, Lumala, we can Lumala. say, no, no, hold on, hold Lumala, on. I think, I think, I think I'm what, listening to Musa. Are, I think you are more trusting. I'm listening to Musa carefully. I'm listening to Musa carefully. No, Tarian, of course, here is the issue. <laughs> Here is the issue. This, this. How did you pull this one crazy. off, Musa? How did you pull this one off? Listen, no, no, no. Because listen, this I whole, this whole, Musa, like this, this whole Western money, this whole Western thing is nothing but like a fiddle fadul. Is is nonsense. All right. The people that are arguing against it in the Gambia, the people that were campaigning against it, forget where the funding is coming from. The people that were out there arguing against it in the Gambia. Whether it was Dr. Mm. Ture, whether it was Nakala Ture, uh, Jahad Dukure, and all these people are yeah. people who mm. went through it. Don't tell me that they, they were influenced by the West to finally believe that, you know what, no, no, I am no, against it. I, I never no, said no, no. that. No, listen. Never, all I'm saying is, the no, West is no, no, hold on, right? hold on, hold on. You'll always use the West. We've seen Jame organize a rally. 
the West be like they go for anything because of EU, they could take a demand. So the West they are trying to control. They would always begin bring the West in. All I'm saying, Moine, you let's look at ourselves and say, you know what? It's just like this argument with these term limits. To say, you know what? Uh not borrow the force. Why since political parties are going to so borrow should not do it. If it is right, it is right. If it is wrong, it is wrong. Irrespective of London and the what about the what about ism, is our biggest right. problem. Let's look at the issue and say, is it helping our young people? Is it if it is helping, good. If it is not, then we have a problem. That's just what it is. It's just like when you talk about, oh, you know what, people are having a problem of landing your leg, and you know, you know what, you am that problem. That's not how you solve an issue. So I want to respond to Big M. Why do you always talk on both sides of your mouth? I'm not. All, I, all I'm doing, Big M. All I'm doing, Big M. The fact that we don't have, we don't have the other side making their argument, I have to bring their argument to the platform just so that all our did, viewers, did, did, they you will both sides. did you invite them to the platform? Yeah, Basama, you know, I'm going to I attempted this jibba. I <laughs> called him messages, he responded. I wanted to bring him here so that he would make that same argument. So I'm going to tell me, the only way an issue can be dealt with fairly, more if both sides, everything is put on the table. Yeah. What's the only I mean, I mean and, 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 and that's the only way we can find at least a resolution or a common ground. And people, in this case, our representative in the National Assembly will go and vote yay or nay. As far as so the, so the, so, so, so the, so, so the is, is Supreme Islamic Council, you know that, that discussion that they had, the, 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 yes. the Egyptian that they invited, the Islamic scholar. You should read the, yes. read, read the thing. He came, he was invited by the Supreme Islamic Council. Yes. And he contradicted, said, no, son, bine, nakaledo is Islamic. And in fact, went mm -hmm. on to argue that even the Hadith, Hadith argument is weak. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's so. So all I'm saying, Musa Moy, we can sit here and ask, but what about what these other people are doing? Let's look at ourselves yeah. and see. Let, let, we are doing a show here. Right. We could have been here, <laughs> Sagante and all that stuff. And you ask, and they say, you know what? But other people are doing it. Why? Why don't we talk about what those other people are doing? At the end of the day, we as a people, we have a capacity to look at an issue and see whether it is good for us or bad for us. But to just Everything you are what the West are doing, the West are doing, they are not the most moral people in the world. We all know that. Yeah, but but the, the, the argument though is if people are saying you know, we have signed um conventions and protocols, you know, from the West, basically signing this agreement saying that FGM should be banned. <clears throat> so I think it's fair enough, and FGM is also being the banning of FGM is funded. The donation is definitely not coming from within. It's coming from without. And they are the ones with the with the with the with the big, what I would call it. Can I can I ask big, you a question? The big microphone. So can I, I think it's fair. Hold on, Adam and Daniel <laughs> They have the big microphone. I think it's fair for people to also take the fight to them and say, okay, why is that you guys are talking both sides of your mouth? Double talk. And, and that's, what Mr. That, Giba, I mean, that's what Mr. Giba is doing exactly, yes. double talk. Mm -hmm. Because who, let me ask you a question. Who signed that protocol? Which the protocol? Hitler that he is defending today. Oh, the government, the government. No, and whose government? I think I think this was signed during the time of Jame. Jame. Jame government, second so, 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 so the, the same guy. Right. Who, who, so Momla Yahni, Jame who could do no wrong. <laughs> the one who he is defending was the one who banned the thing that he wants to unban now. Hamga Mota gives him Biri Chahan. They go out buy. Here is the thing if it is wrong, it is wrong. Whether the Europeans are doing the Europeans can do whatever they want to do. You understand, Mani? It affects their citizens. But to say that because of Europeans have said that this is bad, even though it is affecting our citizens, we should not look at it because of the Europeans have the, have the megaphone. You know what? You know, while we are at it, you know what we need to do? Right. Let's do our constitution. Human rights. Musa, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That was adopted by the West. Well, Musa, Musa, uh, Musa, Musa your, your argument at the very end. Right. Have you, have you, hadn't been you put this persuasive argument in the forefront 
at the very right. end, the one that right. you put in about rights, right? That got me thinking now, and and this debate must continue. I, I'm thinking about it. I'm really, <laughs> really <laughs> thinking no. about no. the rights. <laughs> no, 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 no. Musa, I'm going to Sarian. Sarian, I I understand. Sarian, Sarian is conflict. But he was sympathetic with this. No, sorry, no, 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 but Musa, 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 no, no, hold on a second. But Musa, the argument that you put forth now, you know, Jiba making this yeah. argument. Now, you know, we can't we can say one piece that, oh, we cannot do things that the Western do and we if it's wrong. No, but our templates, everything that we're driving, the donors, it's from the West. So what I'm trying to say, I think this gender, trans, uh, transgender stuff that you are making argument, it's very, very sensitive and is very, very deep. If one person can do that and have the right, mm -hmm. how about the other person if they have the required and it's up to them? They their choice. They said that we can do it on a. I don't know, man. It's 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 something. All, 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 all I'm saying, Dalne, the argument that they use. They were the ones who went and brought their their Islamic scholar, and he told them it's not in fact as Islamic. First they were telling us it was Islamic. Then they no, it was a Sunnah. Then it was uh, oh, it was in the Hadith. Then it was he never mentioned it. Then it was. Uh, how about even, the cultural? Even, how about the cultural argument? Because it's not all religion. There is also there is also a cultural argument, and we all know that. that you know what we you know, know what we need to do. So if we get a culture, but we want to preserve our culture. I'm going to learn more interesting. Mm. <laughs> These people that want to always defend the culture when it mm. suits them, and then go against the West, but then would use the West. The Imam who was Munga Munga Tewon, Hamga Imam Sasi Wapam said argument, but no no. Uh, you know, iPhone like I'm on. I think they need to tell him the 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 the, the <laughs> Nakala Chuda, Steve no, Jobs was gay. Not, maybe, not the <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. So maybe maybe he should know that maybe yeah. Steve, Steve Jobs oh. was gay. See, 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 and and then maybe he would look at for maybe an other uh, alternative to use. So <laughs> so this whole thing, we can all play these games of when he suits us, Nakala Chuda. We'll say Nakala Chuda. Oh. Uh, West me, me. When it's when when it benefits us, we can just look the other way. Musa, let let man from the position that I am, my two daughters will never be subjected to that. Then I think that even majority of people, no. even yes. people that support yes. it, people who went through it, people who went through it, are telling me that they would never subject their kids right. to it. Yes. That's man, man, that man, alone man. should be right. end of end of. No, Money. no, no, coach. I think there should be enough reason for people to sit and and not be. You know, so you get living. This guy should sit here. Then go take a board. Then they must see the color. I think, I think, I think, I think majority agree with that sentiment. But again, the fundamental question comes down to individual rights. We cannot protect one and be against one. And I think at the very end, when I listen to Musa attentively. That's what sways me, and 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 for some and, reason, and, 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 and I have to think are, about it. You know, you know what? There was a policy. These are the people. These are the wrong people. No, no, I give. Yeah. no, no. There was a policy. There was a policy. What? Well, there was a policy before for military. This gay stuff by Bill Clinton. He says, yeah, 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 "Don't yeah, ask, don't tell." Yes, don't yeah, you're right. Tim Cook, Tim Cook, Tim Cook. One for Yeah, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, and, they, and, they and they like Musa, yes. yeah, so, Musa, 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 Musa. I will tell you this: <laughs> someone will walk into when, and this was when the time I was a recruiter, and I remember yes. this guy. Mm -hmm. He came in in the office. We all know, definitely, we all know what's going on. You know, because mm -hmm. he has the caprice on, right? He walk in and he wants to join the military. So, but the, there was there was questionnaire embedded into the question right. that are triggers, right? So mm -hmm. at that point, if he's not comfortable to answer that question, you can actually ask. It's it's acceptable within the law. And when right. he he said, "This is who I am," then you can say, "I'm sorry." You can't join the no, army. You cannot join the navy. That is very clear. Mm -hmm. so, I'm going to learn more interesting, Sasaria. Yes. I'm going to go even in the US. I'm the individual rights. We've seen 
a case that is going on now in the Gambia, where either Tambedo's mother, mother, mother was killed. And one of the accused was supposedly released on bail because he's a minor. So as a minor, the law protects you that even if you are accused of killing, you'll be bailed. Mm -hmm. But as a minor, the law cannot protect you because you've been subjected to FDM because of cultural reasons. Mm -hmm. So individual rights, yes, I believe that 100%. But these people, you're telling me that Jiba believes in individual rights? Then all of I wanted to sit in a in a that's why I want that guy to come here. Forget about the messenger. No, 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 Musa. No, if you are there, no, no, no. Don't tell me that Musa, come on now. What do you mean that forget about the messenger? Like you, like you, somebody like Juba, like you said. I don't even want to preempt the opportunity of having that guy come here and then tell me what his beliefs about individual rights. You cannot be a defender of the biggest violator of rights, individual mm -hmm. rights, and then come here try to argue individual but, rights. But, but, and the APRC, aimless people running the country, the APRC <laughs> has, and that was coined by Amadou Jane, has no, always no. used this argument. Uh, anytime you raise anything about human rights, anything, and they say the West. When you're in the struggle, what do they say? The West. The UDP, when they had Sabali go and accuse, uh, read a statement and call them the Nakalatura, a, a Mandinka party, it was created by the West. So it's always the West. Let's do for ourselves. We, we are supposed to be thinkers too. This whole idea is new. We cannot, we are not, we do not have the capability to think our think for ourselves. But we continue to lunekare nyune and blame the West. Musa, I think I think you got me thinking. Uh, you got me really, really thinking. Hard I think you wanted you wanted to be to, to no, be gone. No, 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 no. But here's the compromise, gone. though, Musa. <laughs> and, and, and coach, as the activist, we talk about the rights. Oh, now you're you calling me activist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are tempted to throw. No, you are. No, no, Musa. Ya se kanga bila i wala. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I want to. I want to know where you going with that. <laughs> no, but Musa. Musa, here's the thing, though. Right. I think I, I, when you're talking and uh, thinking about this, maybe to bring both sides together, a compromise. Thinking who are was saying the criminal. How about? If they fine tune the law a little bit and say this is individual rights, but what is criminal is you cannot, you cannot perform this onto someone who cannot make and consent to that decision before 18 years and draw that into the law as like a benchmark whereby if that person can make that decision, knows, educate the health issues and everything, knows about it. Right. But oh, let, no, let me let me let me throw away. I corrected myself because I was corrected by Emo. Steve Jobs is not gay, it's Tim Cooks. Yeah. So you the Imam Fati guys, uh, you know what Steve Cook <laughs> is the, in, <laughs> in fact, sir, that's what that's what really No, no, yeah. Musa, Musa I was talking about saying that Sariang is an Imam Fati guy. Too. No, 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 no. I was responding to, to the guy. No, Sariang yeah. loves Imam Fati. He is yeah. he, you know, no. Sariang loves Imam. No, no, because he's a, but well, but he's a, he's a, he's a Imam. I, we have to love each uh, religiously. I love, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't have to love anybody. If I don't no, but that's subjective, though. You can you have your own. But I disagree with Imam on certain things. No, but you are saying something goes, about, about when he goes out there and threatening people. Right. I don't what, like were you, that stuff, right? what were you saying about quote individual rights? No, no, no. What I was trying to say is, as a compromise, maybe to bring both sides together. I mean, and, and I'm just saying the people who went through this, medical personnel and all that, and somehow, you know, some of these things, if you draw a document saying, hey, as a compromise, if we adjust the law, that that individual has to consent, should have and, the... And you know, say no, no, give me, give me, give me, give me, no, no, we agree. And yeah. this is why I said me. And thank, sorry, Lamin Tarawale. It was Busa who made me believe that you were Imam Fati guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me. This is why I said, me, if an adult, a consenting, consenting adult, wanna do that, you will not hear me say a word about it. In fact, this is Susimo Pam. Normally, I am. I took my time about this whole thing. I've not said much about this FDM thing. 
Si yeah. Bofa. Yeah. You understand, money. Mm -hmm. And uh, I understand how sensitive a matter it is. But I also understand when you're talking about individual rights, you cannot also negate the right of the child who does not have to give consent to being subjected to that process. That's my thing. If it is an adult that wants to do it, I do not care what that adult does. If Musa Jeng wakes up tomorrow, nefum neka ni do buga di sol naka naka hills, sol suma nyeti naka gram buba and this thing aksuma musor. Oh my lord! I'll tear you, tear you on. It will be a very ugly scene. But but pass number two. As a compromise, though. Doctor side though. Where does parental rights get into it? In other words, because we all assume that naturally, I mean, parents wouldn't do harm to their children. I mean, I guess that's, at least that's what we believe, naturally, that parents will oh, go out no. of their way. Musa, let me, just, let me just respond to this. Uh, Baba Sini, <laughs> how about beating children? I believe he's barbaric. I do not support it. 100 and, and I, in fact i believe me monday if you ask ask uh family members who know me i think they, you should be prosecuted for that yeah there is something brewing in the united it should states be, it should be illegal in the politics of it right now and that is what your children should even be taught at school i mean that has become such a huge issue. What do they call it again? This um, thing from Florida. Woke. Huh? Yeah, the, the woke thing. And then, but but you see, but I'm just saying. Oh, when, but when you talk about the West, and I think I'm that's where the lack of understanding, because even the West, Sibopa, is struggling with itself as to how it is going to Nakalatura operate. How much do you understand where I'm coming from? Because mm -hmm. the West is not also sitting there. There is a big cultural fight. In the, in, the, in the United States, particularly. But, you know, but because you, know that, you have that... You know, but that's what we are saying. Mm -hmm. We are still going through that in the Gambia as well. But, we but that's why we are, we are discussing it. That's why right? we are having that's this conversation. No, no, the point that I was trying to make, Moi, I mean, where do you draw the line as far as parental rights are concerned? Parental protection of their children and what their children... Let's say, for instance, what they should be taught at school. I mean, you know, what they should be going through, what they should be going through, female circumcision, for instance. Where do you draw the line when we're just looking at rights? Right? Okay, I'm going I'm to I'm write in normally, human rights. Normally, normally mm -hmm. I mean, people would say that um, minors, definitely, they're not in a position to make decisions for themselves. Mm -hmm. And this is where, even if you go and apply for a loan, or a bank, they will want your parent to come and co-sign for you, right? Yeah. Right? So mm -hmm. using the same logic, I'm saying, when you deal this issue as far as rights are concerned, shouldn't the parent has a say? Okay, but here, here, here is the thing, though, mm -hmm. Here is the thing. In most countries, mm -hmm. if a parent subject a child to harm, something harmful, Correct. The state may have the right to, in fact, take the child from the from the parent. Absolutely. Yes, parental consent is absolutely important in everything that we do, but that consent mm -hmm. also has its limits. Because you cannot also subject that child to something that may be harmful to him or her. Right. So the state, there is a balancing act. Right. So just because you are the parent. Does it mean that you can do anything? Let's say, for example, if you live in Texas, in the state of Texas, bus lives mm -hmm. there and he can correct me. If your child does not go to school for a, for a number of days, yeah, you'll be prosecuted for that. Yeah. Now, you can say I'm the parent. I have yeah. the powers, the right to not send him or her to school, but the state is telling you no. It is your responsibility to make sure this child is also educated. So a, there is a balancing act. Correct. This is not an open-ended right that you have. Mm -hmm. Because your right as a parent to parent your child also stops at parenting that may be harmful to that child. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So it's a balancing act that we need to have. So that's why all I'm saying, Moini, this nonsense of or the West, this thing. The West, they have their contradictions. They I've do. lived here for a very long time. 30 29 years. years, almost. 30 years. You know, Musa Ajeng has lived here now for almost 56 years. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 oh, you know you know the difference between the west and moon <laughs> where the west allows itself to evolve right through debates through some type serious fights but the evolution me, of the but, west but, but, but me, me, we are stuck on getting a third year for this talk, we do not want to move forward we do not want to move forward well maybe we are evolving too i'm going to be a question oh, of okay. it. You're Musa talking about Kliya. you're talking about the West. They've been practicing, call it democracy for whatever. I mean, for a lot of years. When you're talking about Gambia, a country that is 59 years old. So, in terms of the trajectory of evolution, as far as issues are concerned, the West, I mean, they go same pace. I mean, I'm telling you, in 2008, you're no yeah. politician dare come and say anything that is supposed to be, I mean, a uh, supporting same-sex marriage or saying right. anything that would even without being politically committing political suicide. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not talking here uh, a long time ago. We're and, talking and, about and you know and you know ago. and and, and, so and people, you know what with, with same sex with, uh, with even same sex marriage here is the thing the issue of it there were two two thoughts all right the religious aspect of it versus the rights of the individuals doing it because most of the argument was based on what the religion says it was not based on law or anything and the argument is yes your religion is your religion but the person's right is the person's right if two adults consenting adults believe in your government then you'll say it together what rights does the state have to say that that cannot happen and then those who are religious people will come and tell you that God created us men and women so that we can procreate. Is that what they call it? For New York, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But then again, this is a you country. Know, you, can, you, can, you can do procreation without, I mean, um, men and women. We just have this IDF and frozen embryos. So, 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 even when they say uh, 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 individual rights, this way individual rights trumps religious rights. The religious people can believe what they want to believe. Let's also remember in this country, religion was used as a justification for slavery. If you do not believe me, go and read the classic slave narratives and see how really religion was used as a justification for slavery but people evolved from that so this 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 gay thing and good most of the people who are dead opposed to it and if you look at it most black people still cannot accept it most immigrants still cannot accept it all i'm saying is even today even today i mean the rights of the transgender or gay it's an uphill battle, really. They're still fighting it. We all see when this, I mean, who is the Minister of Transportation now, the declared gay person? Most yes. people were even saying if he wasn't gay, the chances are. Oh, he, yes, he, he would have been the president of this country. He could have been, but because of that, people and their biases. And they're, they're, not going to, they're not going to vote for yeah, him. No. So what I'm saying is the country, this country is still going through their. Who put it one yes. of this man me man man coach let me make this clear man if i had a vote and pete Buttigieg was on the ballot i will vote for him 10 times <laughs> because i can care and less you are, in the, he you, are in the, you are in the minority no yeah. no no but i can care less I'm about good. your sexuality to so me. now 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 musa musa i think i heard you all and uh, it was a very persuasive argument on both sides. <laughs> and I listened very carefully. <laughs> very carefully on the argument put forth. For the first, yes. and this is the second time, though. I think one of the arguments that we kind of came together was when they had that St. Trezes versus the Ville oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we end up converging and agree on the rights. And I think today, Wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, 
wholeheartedly, and I'm not going to waffle. Yeah. This part, though, I mm. think the rights of individual got me thinking. And, and I think I hope Mr. Giba comes in here. Mm. And I'm going to ask him, say, if the law still remains, the anti FGM still law remains, but can we fight to fine tune some of the areas inside it? Say, can we add on the language where it says the person, he or she, yeah, he, she, uh, she has to be 18 over, needs to have a consent, no understanding all the medical implications and all that stuff, still consent to it to perform it, will that be acceptable if that person does that, has the legal age and wants to do it? Is that is that acceptable? I don't know what the thing is. Would that satisfy the imams and all say, that stuff? I don't know. It did say that the bill, if you look at the bill, the banning of FGM, there are a lot of key issues to it. And what he wants is to change the language of some of the issues. That is okay. the, criminal, the criminalization aspect of that. He's saying that's what needs to be removed. Now, talking about over 18 or whatever, how about Pasamba, if they were to inject that you cannot do it without under medical supervision, just like boys like us, when I remember when we were going to, all of us were scared to death. <laughs> and you see, yeah, so, but that, because it was, it is under medical supervision, even though circumcision used to be done even before the hospital, meaning Chikogi, Guiding them, you know, do their that, thing. You know, that yeah, yeah, they used to so do that. So it was very mean. So, but it was done under and people used to die it from under medical supervision. Can we say the same thing? As but, far but as you see, that's, that's 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 the thing, Musa. And whatever they do, Hamgaman to me, at the end of the day, I think those who went through it, isn't there La Musafka Koma Chukoham? Musa. And those people cannot be discounted. This this discussion is not even supposed to be led by uh, by this man <laughs> parading around with their beards. The new ID that you need to be the phone. That's not the issue. What? Young but, 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 but coach, coach, but coach. To be fair, no, though, you no. got you you got other women who went through it. But let let those people come. How many? No, 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 no. Here's the, here's the thing. I said you were saying they they experienced. They are saying that. Their kids are not going through it, but there are others who went. Who said their it. kids? That's what. That's where I was going. Who Sarah. wants to go? Who wants their kids to no, do it? Too? Sarah, so that's, 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 on that's, both sides. No, that's I'm where gonna, I was I'm going. The other side, no, that's, 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 that's where. Uh, no, that's they where they I was through. going. All I'm saying, Moine, for them to have a consensus, come to something, an agreement, this, or at least something that makes sense. All right, let those more than money lamusafka come by chokoham. Those who went through it know what it, whether it was bad or good for them. Good. Yeah, Let those good. people converge, have a, a civil conversation as to what they think is the most practical way of practicing this cultural practice. Okay? And that's the, that's the thing. But to have this uh, mullahs, Salafis, or whatever they call them, I don't even know what these, these things coming and just killing us about what was said, you know, five billion years ago, and all this stuff. To, to me, let's have those people sit and see how best to deal with. If it is, if they come to an agreement, they may be doing it through a medical supervision, is the best Correct. route. Correct. Fine. But we yeah. cannot continue to subject young, young girls to this. And we've even had stories. Where some of these girls, there was somebody, I think it was Sani or somebody, who explained that when they did it to her, her parents were not even there. And auntie overzealous auntie or somebody would just come and snatch you from under your this thing and just take you to the take you to 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 through the process. Talking about these rights, I'm gonna even here in the United States, when you have a boy, like a child at the hospital, before they even perform circumcision. The parent, they would have the parental consent. Yeah, because so, it's not done by no, not everybody does it. Huh? Not everybody does it in this. That's country. what I'm saying. That's what I. Yes. That's what I'm saying. The reason why I'm raising that, Moine, we cannot just when you talk about rights, you can't just put aside um, the role of the parent in the matter. But, but, matter, but, matter no. Whatever people think about it, you know what I mean. They, 
obviously the, the child is a minor, can think for 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 herself. But um, the the the, the, the that parental the role that the parent plays, I think cannot be just put aside. And nobody is doubting that. And what of Malani? This person of course, law as it is written. This no. person law as it is written. Whether your parent, because most people would think, man, the reason why a child will go and go through that, the parent would say it's fine. Call it ignorant, call it law informed, call it whatever you want to call it. But the reality is, kokulologum. Onasanga, where do you draw the line as far as cr criminalization is concerned? <laughs> are you only going after the person performing it? Because the law, are you going only after the person performing it? Or are you also going to go after the parent for allowing it to be performed to the child? I mean, these are issues. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so yeah, I, 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 Usa, I, I understand all that. All I'm saying, Moeni, the consent of the parent is important. Clearly. All right. But the parent, too, cannot be allowed to do anything that may be harmful to the kid. And this is where the state comes. And like, say, Kara uh, Lingawa Degala. I've seen apps, bull worry, man, somebody may got man, man, send mula, be warm. You know, I'm not worried about that mula. But Karaluwa, in, in the Gambia, you know, Jigen mom is nothing. Yo, you just have to be submissive. I, the Modega, I was watching this video, people think it was funny. This girl was telling the dad, I think the, the, the dad is from Ghana or somewhere. Joking with the dad and saying, you know what, I proposed to my boyfriend. And the dad was mad like hell. Why would you propose to your boyfriend? That man should not even want you. Huh? Propose to your boyfriend. Huh? You cannot do that. You, a wife is supposed to be submissive. And I'm like, what kind of nonsense is this? Submissive to whom? Why can't the husband be submissive too to the wife? It should be equal. But anyway, I'm part of the crazy ones. But you know what? Anyway. You are crazy. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, Manfuma Daniel Moy, uh -huh. today, today, uh -huh. the non-activist uh -huh. are the key defenders of individual rights. Right. I think nobody, that's what nobody, I'm not, nobody, no, nobody denied here defending individual <laughs> rights. <laughs> All I said, no, let me let me come back to that because this <laughs> is not working always. All I said, Moy. All I want to defend is the right of that kid not to be harmed. I have no problem with individual rights, but we cannot be uh, 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 protecting one right while that right violates the rights of the young people, the minor. That's what I'm saying. If the state can release somebody from jail because of it's a minor, then they should also make sure a minor is protected from, from harmful practices. I think it's been a good one. Oh, it is. It is. First time Musa Jing put an argument whereby <laughs> calmly, without agitation, uh -huh. I get a buy-in onto it without screaming and trying to force well, it. And, and, you know, and, you know, and, you know, and you know, you know, you know what one the reason was, Saria. Uh -huh. It was not his favorite topic. <laughs> you know, if this was about 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 the UDP also, you know, the, the no, no, but, but this was this was a good one though. I, I for some reason no, but, I, but miss, I missed that was, part about Mr. Kiba was, where he says, you know, you know, you know, the criminality of the law, blah blah blah. I missed that part on his conversation. So Musa kind of enlightened no, 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 no. me, and I appreciate you today, Musa. I have, I have no if, I, if, I hear, if I hear a Kiba talking life. about individual rights, he has a problem. Listening to the other side, his tolerance level. Lege lege maneko. Deglunga coffee time time. Mama yeman duma deglunko. Oh maneko, did you know why Donald Trump? Is, I'm not going to listen to those people. He has no, no, problems. I don't. I don't. He has a low tolerance don't. level. Personally, <laughs> more. Listen. I don't mind listening the, to people let me tell you something. More than more than fifteen tension and baggy high. Let me tell you. Before I listen to Donald Trump, before I listen to Donald Trump. I'll go and listen to Musangom, John Seka, and Yusundur, and all on YouTube. No. I, I, so, so Angali, when I listen to Jiba, even though my thing more when what Pasamba is saying, this is an APRC guy, their rights were violated, he didn't say anything. Now, all of a sudden, he's all over the place, Fila Harijar. But I listen. Yeah. And when he made points that I'm like, hmm, maybe this guy is up to something. Yeah. That is why I said, Actually, we need to bring him on this platform. No, no, no. I agree. And you know what? Of what he is saying. What challenge you? 
because because we have a platform other than uh, like in, 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 inshallah and all that business what did he tell you did he is he coming <laughs> i'm i'm gonna this this so <laughs> But Musa, anyway, but, Musa, but someone, to tell the guys text me and that say, next week we'll uh -huh. be we'll be broadcasting simultaneously. Uh, one, of, one, one of the cousins Sarian. text me just now and says, uh, definitely Sarian today, Musa was not speaking bongums, he was speaking a <laughs> while. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh he said he was the most fair, fair-minded guy on the platform. <laughs> uh, if my cousins are saying that. <laughs> Then that, that's, that's, that, 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 that's a, that means you were speaking their language. <laughs> he, says anyway, that, he says that. He says that. Oh yeah, he was very fair, and he sway you back at the very end. I love his analysis. That's what he said. So, I, think I, I, think, I, 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 I think I think that person is afraid of the the, the Ramadan tomorrow. He's not, he's not thinking very well. But you but know anyway, what? Uh, happy Ramadan. happy happy Ramadan to all, all the Muslims Sunday. that are practicing it tomorrow. I'm gonna be very quiet and so lazy is that year that I don't wanna you know the spirituality will get into me that kind of thing. But um, like I said at the beginning, yelling kofeke ndegen dewe na jamma in good health so that we can go to the Ramadan again. Olen ko hamne yam yo setan yam ganyo setan na next year yun yip feke ko in good health. Daraja yun ti Allah Muhammad. Daraja Makkah at Medina. Amin ya Rabbi. But Musa, he said, he said you, uh, he said you need to stay away from the UDP flag be out of business. He said he <laughs> talk. Oh, he will I never see you from that. I know. I know. I know. Oh, these guys are interesting, man. You know. And, 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 you know, not to, not to forget our Christian friends who are also yes going through the land. And Easter, yeah. Easter would be Easter Sunday would be my thirty first, you know. Yeah. So it will be it will be great. I used to remember Easter being uh, April fifteen, you know, right. almost always. But you know, I and think, they go forty days, man. You know, that's yeah, what they I go. They, they they go they go forty days, you yeah. know. And Musa is supposed to go thirty days. Who make any? Twenty nine. Trying like there's no days. No. Twenty nine. Today, today, when I when I woke up. I got all the leftovers. I got my sardines. I ate. I went twice. I drank my coffee. I came back. I ate, and I said, "You know, for thirty days, let me take care of this business." But let me, tell you, let me tell you the most effective header though, so that you not have to worry about marndo. Isn't the what you call it? Uh, watermelon. They can give me advice. Okay, I'm just telling you. I'm Musa, what, you, what are you? What, what are you insinuating, man? Messenger. <laughs> all I'm telling you, Dal, for those that care to listen, Dal, if you do, if you do your watermelon, why would I listen to that you that? worry about during the day? Why not? Yeah. I think my man is calling me. I'll call him back. Give a chuckle. Maybe he's watching you too. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, but guys, so man, stay away from UDP's internal politics. Happy, you know? happy, happy Ramadan, and I um I thank you all. We thank Ibrahim Asila profoundly, really. And oh yes, my, my, that's and, my guy, man. Yes. Yes. Oh, Musa, you should follow up, Mr. Jiba. I think I think Mr. Jiba. No, no, may... yes, I mean I'm going to. Yeah. yeah. And um. No, I mean, you know what? You we'll bring. Wanna... Man, I am going to invite. I'm going to reach out to Seri and and maybe somebody. If you have a woman who. Yes, who is who this. To maybe we can have definitely uh, have that and then have them have the conversation because at the end of the day, uh, you know, those who are affected by this should be also giving an opportunity oh, absolutely. to absolutely. 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 absolutely, absolutely. But to hear Musa Jang here trying to be the devil's advocate, you know, really? and all that someone, stuff, someone is neither here nor there. He, he sounds like Miss Jackson on, on, on the Supreme Court today, so you, you did a good <laughs> job, you know. No, you right, sounded more like Nakala Joy Judy than Nakala Chura. All right, man. And Bas, thank you very All right, much. All right. Thank you, Zay Bas. And thanks to, to our Nakala Chura, our, our, our sponsors. We yes, appreciate definitely. you guys. Definitely. All right, man. And Sarian, you better up, 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 up. Oh, Sarian, Sarian is going to prepare for his doggo. No. All right, Pop Sam. We'll talk All to right, you next time. Thanks.